who could have added value uh, regardless of perception of the public. Those are dealt with at close range. Uh, the likes of Toko, the female, the likes of uh, uh, Obi Ekwezili, uh, Dr. Ngozi Uyala. I'd like, I would love to see those ones in, in action. Um, the records of Malam Nasiri Rufai, you can condemn it, you can do anything. He moved the nation's capital forward when it was there and the race of standard. I would like to see such people in politics. The likes of Fola Diola, I would like to see such a man in active politics. Yes, he is pioneer the political party. Uh, um, and is part of the political party, is one of the uh, movers and shakers of. Um, uh, I'm trying to recall the name of his party now, Kowa Party. I would have loved to see such people who have contributed meaningfully in different uh, sector of a national life in politics. But somehow, like I said repeatedly, there is no room for Jesus' uh, mother, for Jesus' mother in the inn. We might have to go and live in the manger <laughs> to bring birth, uh, to, to bring about the change we expect. And that change needs to be qualified. Because so many people think that that change is age. Nigeria does not need generational shift. Nigeria needs generational integration. Uh, as Yoruba as we see, So we need both. Like it happened in the days of the military. I'm not looking for military regime. But there one could be fathered by Chief of he was only in his late 20s, early 30s, I was in his late 50s, I was 57, he was 30. He could father him and they collaborated together uh, to work at critical moments in Nigeria history. So uh, that's my opinion. There are some who could have come out. If JK Abadi were to find a comfortable platform in at state level or to function within a party to function at federal level, those are good people. And there are some who are very good, but are in wrong parties that have no democratic values, but dictatorial tendencies. They just wear, wear civilian outfit. They are both military themselves.